In this paper, we investigate user-conditioned neural controllers for agile quadrotor flight. In contrast to traditional learning-based approaches that rigidly map state observations to actions, our approach allows to alter the flight behavior during deployment. A standard neural controller for agile drone flight through waypoints would take the position, velocity, attitude, body rate, as well as the next waypoint as an input. Then the control policy computes a control action consisting of a collective thrust and a body rate command. So let's see how we can extend this framework to incorporate an auxiliary user input into our controller. First, without loss of generality, we can split the fully connected control network into two parts. We introduce an affine transformation, called a film layer, to transform the intermediate activations. The coefficients of the affine transformation are computed by a neural network, which only sees the auxiliary user input. As an extension to this standard film architecture, we propose to also directly feed the user input into the neural network. In an agile flight setting, a user might want to specify the aggressiveness of the flight by providing a thrust-to-weight ratio limit to the quadrotor. In blue, we have the slowest drone with a thrust-to-weight ratio of only 1.6, whereas the green and red drone have more thrust available. Here we can see the drones racing on a figure 8 track, and they are all controlled by the same policy, just deployed with a different user conditioning signal. We observe that the drones fly on different paths. This is important, as the fastest way to pass through all gates is also a function of the available thrust. Thus it is very reasonable that the drones behave a bit differently. Instead of thrust constraints, a user might want to guide the viewing direction. Here you can see the three drones flying on a complex drone racing track. And the blue drone is tasked to look 45 degrees to the left with respect to the next bay point, the green one straight at it and the red one 45 degrees to the right. If we also include where an onboard camera would point at, we can really see that only the green drone looks at the next bay point, whereas the two other drones look to either side, as specified by the user. We validate the performance of our approach in real-world experiments on an autonomous racing quadrotor. In the video sequences, we change the maximum thrust-to-weight ratio throughout the flight. The plot shows the thrust-to-weight ratio in the last 5 seconds and the dot corresponds to the current setting. The difference in thrust-to-weight ratio can be observed clearly from the audio and also from the speed at which the drone flies. And now we show this very same experiment on our more complex racetrack which highlights that the film approach to user conditioning does work very well and can also be applied in challenging control conditions.